you guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to update your computer to the next OS. So I'm going to update it to the beta version since the um, real version did not come out yet and will not come out just yet, okay? Uh, this beta version is just to test out uh, to see what's working what's not and we're supposed to tell Apple, okay? So that's why I'm updating it, but you guys are going to do the same thing once it comes out. Um, but you guys are going to go into your app store in to do it, so just type here app store. And from your app store, you're gonna download this, okay, the next OS and update. So if you don't find it under updates or featured, which it will be, um, you're just gonna type it up here, okay? And you'll find it. So it's gonna be pretty easy actually to find it, um, whether or not you don't see it. So right now, obviously, we're not gonna see it because it's a beta version. It's not available for everybody. Okay, just uh, for some people to test it out. So that's how you're gonna do it. You just type in update and that's it. But before you do that, okay, before you do that, uh, make sure to back up your Mac. The best way that I found to actually do it is Time Machine. Okay, so that doesn't mean you have to buy a Time Machine from Apple, a Time Capsule, or something really expensive. You can just buy any any external hard drive. And make it into a time machine okay um, it's just about the setup it's really easy I have a separate video that I'll show you that um, don't forget to back it up so all you do here is go back up now and it's gonna go back up your computer now why we do this it's just in case something goes wrong in the update or you just don't like the update I know a lot of people did not like matrix when we updated to it so many people wanted to go back because things were not working with it um, for Canon fans, usually when you update, your um, utilities will stop working. Um, that's pretty much always, so you have to wait a few months. After the update, um, you have to just wait and see when Canon actually updates their software so you can actually update to the next OS on your Mac, if you care about the Canon utilities. Anyways, um, so that's why we did this time machine right now. So. We're just gonna close that up so make sure you have done that next step we're gonna do the actual update so i'm gonna update it into that okay okay guys so at this point um i do have a code for it so that's why i'm doing it this way you can use always another code i'm gonna press done and this should be downloading right now onto my computer so you can check that out right here in Launchpad. Okay, if you don't find it there, you can always type it up here and look for it. Um, Launchpad's usually gonna be down here unless you delete it from there. It's the easiest way, I think, uh, to see whether you're downloading or, or not, because it will not be here, okay? Um, not this will depend, but we're just gonna close the App Store. We don't really need it open right now. Um, at the moment, doesn't matter if you guys see that or not I'm gonna go to my launch pad now it's downloading as you can see it's 5 gigs so it's quite big okay the no new OS now this is the beta version so we're gonna see what the final version how much I would not say it would be more than 3 gigs on your computer it shouldn't be more than 3 gigs but if they stick to the 5 or 6 gig then uh, it's quite a big program um, after all it is the OS for your Mac so there's a lot of um, new things that go on with it. Um, some things that you have to be aware of is the, the drive for it. So there's the new iCloud drive and um, I would not update to the iCloud drive. Just because um, that means you have to update when it comes up, okay, also to iOS 8, which is also coming up. So you have to update all your Mac stuff, uh, your iPhone, your iPad, into iOS 8. Now, let's say you have an iPad 1. You know, they still work, they're very good, um, but you can't get past iOS 5. So that means you will not be able to share your documents and information from your Mac to your iPad. With this new drive that Apple made, um, you need iPads and iPhones that have that capability to upgrade to iOS 8 so a lot of people are gonna be stuck okay so I would not do that that's optional okay it doesn't matter if you update to this OS you don't need to upgrade to the new drive that Apple made okay so just in case 
don't do it just yet. If um, you know you have the newest Mac stuff, then don't worry about it. And just uh, do it. Why not? Um, so we're gonna continue this when this is done downloading, and we're gonna keep with uh, the update and recording this. Okay, guys. So at this point, all you have to do, whether you download from your app store or the web page, um, which you will be doing from your app store, don't worry about that. Uh, you just have to go to continue. You have to click on agree, obviously. Agree again. Okay, your disk. Now, um, make sure to choose the correct one, okay? Usually, the correct one will go here. Um, this is my main one, so I'm just gonna go install. Okay, I'm gonna go okay. Now remember, before doing all this, we did do the time machine, okay? Just in case something goes wrong, or you just wanna go back to your matrix. There you go, you have your time machine to back you up, okay? So at this point, we're just waiting for it to load. Um, you will see this part going all the way. Now this may take anywhere from 10 minutes to 30 minutes. It all depends on what Mac you've got. So we'll see how long this one takes. Okay guys, right after that, you will see this on your screen. Now, this will tell you about 22 minutes. Those are not actually accurate. It could be between 10 to 40 minutes. But it won't be 22 minutes like it says. So just wait for that. Um, it will take some time to install. Remember, once again, this is the beta version. It's not the full version yet. It's just for us to test it out right now. So when the full version comes out, it will take maybe a little bit longer, a little bit less time to install. Hey guys, so after a while, you will hear your Mac start up again. I uh, might do this several times actually. Especially if you're running the beta version, you're gonna see that it will restart. Um, this line might not get to the end, it might get just to the middle from what you see, and that uh, your computer might restart, okay? So just wait for that, and uh, you have to keep waiting basically for it to actually stop. Okay, guys, so if you have uh, separate users on your Mac, then you're gonna see that right away once all that's done loading up. Um, if you don't, then it's gonna go straight into your account. So we're just gonna go into, into our account right away. Now for the first time, everything takes a little bit longer than usual. The color does look like this. So I don't think it's my back walls or, or something. Uh, this is the color that you're gonna see on your screen. Um, don't worry about your account loading up a little bit slow in the first try, okay? Um, it might be slow because it has to load up everything and uh, the process is always actually fairly slow um, you know if, you're, if you have a couple of hours uh, to spare then I would do the update other than that um, you know, if you need your computer like in an hour or two don't do it because you might have problems with your computer anyways and you have to fix it so don't update if you're gonna have to use your computer um, fairly fast if you, if you don't need it for that for a couple of, uh, I would say, four hours minimum, then do the update, okay? Whether it's the beta version or you do it the full version at this point. So we're just gonna wait for it to load. Okay, next thing that you're gonna see is your basic Apple ID. It's gonna ask you. So put in your password, um, your password and all that stuff. So we're just gonna do that right now. Okay, obviously you have to always agree with any terms and conditions. If you don't, you can only go backwards. Um, this is the part where you should skip. You shouldn't upgrade to iCloud Drive. Just as of now, as I explained, um, if you update it, then you need iOS 8 on your iPhone um, or iPad. So since not all my stuff will be on iOS 8 right away, uh, probably just my iPhone in the start, uh, but not my iPad because I've been putting stuff there and the uh, documents won't sync and so on. So we're just gonna put not now for the moment. You can always upgrade later on to iCloud Drive, okay? So we're just gonna go to continue. Once again, this will be a fairly slow process, okay? Now all your stuff should load back as it was before, okay? There might be differences. Um, you will see differences right away. Obviously, we're looking at differences right now on the icons. Um, you can see that they're different, they're like shinier stuff. You're gonna get a better look in just a second uh, where I can 
actually make you guys see this better, the whole thing without this um, reflection from everything, everything. You guys are gonna be able to see it in a second a little bit better, but uh, we're just gonna click OK for now on this. And obviously, since this is um, beta version, we have good feedback assistant on. And we're gonna set those terms. And we're just gonna type that. Hey guys, so this is the basic look of um, the beta version right now. So the real one's always gonna look like this. Uh, you can kind of see that it's a little bit different, obviously. Uh, you can see the icons have changed. Um, for some reason, Final Cut Pro is not working at the moment, but this is the beta version, so don't worry about it. Once the real version will come out, we'll do a review on that and tell you what works, what doesn't. Um, the look of it, it's, it's a little bit different. Um, the finder, you can see that it's different as well. Um, I have to say, I don't, I don't like it that much. It kind of goes with the iPhone type of thing. Um, kind of minimal, and at the same time, it's not. So, um, so this is how Finder looks like. Uh, let me just close this up. Let me show you this. So there's the, um, the spotlight. I'm not sure if I like this that much, but that's okay, I guess. So let's say I want to, you know, just find Photoshop. It'll find me Photoshop just like this. It, it's okay. I mean, I don't mind it that much, but I did like it just, you know, leave it up here. Why put it in the middle of my screen? Don't see it that necessary. So, um, something else that we're gonna see, launch pad, same type of deal that you have there. Okay, so that's your launch pad. Um, other than that, that's your basics. If you are running the beta, make sure to run any questions you have to Apple directly from Feedback Assist, okay? And then uh, make sure to send your stuff. So I'm just gonna send something right now that I found the problem with it. And um, put a set, send it to Apple, and that's it, okay? So that's the basic look that you guys are gonna see. We're gonna get into it a little bit. Okay, so um, once again, this is just your feedback to Apple that it's sending. Um, here you're gonna see, you know, your basic stuff. You can see that there's some differences on the look of it. Um, just gonna get out from this. We're gonna look at battery a bit. Uh, some things are a little bit bigger than others. Um, feedback sent, we're done with that. I'm just gonna minimize this. I'm still looking for stuff that's wrong with it, that's not working, uh, such as Final Cut Pro for some reason. Your mail, um, I'm not gonna open that right now. But uh, if you go to iPhoto, for example, I'm going to go into Systems Preferences. So the icons have changed some. Um, not for all, I mean, not all your applications will change. But if you go to your system stuff, that will change significantly um, some of your things right there. Um, basically, there are some upgrades and downsides to doing this. So um, your iPhoto and all that stuff should still open the same way okay um, if you go to mission control for example you're gonna see everything pretty much the same thing if uh, you go into dock same type of deal um, let me just go into more more of the settings so you guys can see you gonna put one of the new wallpapers available that's it I mean those are this really simple stuff that I'm showing you guys right now just to let you see uh, what differences there are um, for right now since this is the beta version I can't really tell you on speed speeds okay um, the Mac will do a performance test as well later on just uh, to see that everything's okay we're gonna see if they added more gestures or something everything seems to be the same uh, for your trackpad everything should be the same as well we shouldn't see any changes there we're gonna go back on it um, for internet accounts extensions there's some variation on iCloud there should be some variations on iCloud since there's the iCloud drive okay so there will be a little difference here where you can see there we go iCloud drive okay so we don't have that turned on I suggest not turning on just as of yet but you can if you want to um, okay for that's the difference with iCloud your app store should be exact same type of deal okay so you can do your settings from there general 
type of thing. We're gonna go into our notepad, for example. I'm just gonna open that up. Okay. And you can see it's, well, that was one of the difference that, differences that they were gonna make. But as we can see, it's not a huge deal. Okay. Um, we're gonna open up Safari, something that everybody uses. Um, of course, a lot of you use Firefox as well, since you like it a lot. I like Safari, so um, has been turned off. We're just gonna put OK for now. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, there are no major differences here. We can open up another window and we're gonna go into directly into Google.ca. And we're also gonna open up another one that says YouTube. Okay, so we're gonna open up. So I'm just um, making more of these. You can press on the X right here, or you can just press Command T to make more windows. Okay. Um, if you go back and forth on pages, so let's say I go click on here, you're gonna see this type of look right now. Uh, let's say I go to Wikipedia. Well, let's say I click on it again, and this is actually my stuff. So these are pretty cool. This is actually a lot like um, iPad or iPhone, let's say. So they're making it more visual. Okay, a little bit more, there we go. So I'm just going to different websites. Um, I'm gonna go back and forth on them just by swiping my finger, just to see if that works fine. And it seems to be working just fine with it. Um, from Safari itself, you can see that the looks a little bit different. Yeah, I like it a bit, yeah. Like I can see liking this design a little bit more. It's a little bit uh, more minimal, so. I do like that. Um, under applications, we're just gonna see what problems we have with some of the applications while you guys take a look how this looks like. Of course, you guys are gonna see some stuff really big like this. This is huge. Um, before, you know, it's a lot smaller. I don't know, this is pretty big, I have to say. Um, same thing with icons. They kinda went bigger. I didn't have them that big before. But, anyways, I'm just gonna go into this. And uh, with icons that we're gonna have problems, uh, programs, apps, we're gonna see this. It's X right here on compressor. That was working fine on Matrix. Um, once we go down, we don't see any other obvious problems within the other apps. Uh, once again, this is the beta version, so there might be some problems with some of the apps. I don't see Final Cut Pro for some reason here, so we're gonna look for it. So that's something that we use a lot, but it's not here, so that's fine. I guess that's okay. Um, okay, back into your Mac. Basically, it's not a huge change that you're gonna see from it. You still have this on the side, okay, if you swipe your fingers. You're gonna see the same type of deal here. You're also gonna see... Yeah, it seems like I have just two of my things open, so that's a problem. So there's two desktops open right now, um, so that was a problem, but anyways. So this is a quick look into it, you guys can see, there's no major, no major upgrade. It's a bit more minimal, some things are a bit more minimal, some things are a little bit too big for my taste, it could have been a bit smaller. I will change my screen resolution, just that to make a, everything a little bit smaller, I don't like it to be that big just seems like too much for kids okay um, not too serious right there anyways besides that it's been working fine I uh, showed you how to install it if you guys have any questions problems uh, just email me here below I should say leave your comment here below don't email me and um, remember any questions comments errors just leave them here below we will contact Apple to let them know if you guys are having issues with the beta version for some reason your feedback is not working uh, let me know once again here on YouTube so I can contact Apple directly. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.